Brett Rod Matt coming at you from Rustin Rod's Garage. Uh, just an update what's going on on the bench. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I posted anything. Uh, I've got some trophies I gotta get ready for our show up in March. Uh, there's a few of them I've built here, uh, welded together out of pieces and parts from small engines, and I just gotta get them fixed to a couple bases and some. Uh, uh, stuff painted on them uh, got a couple builds I've been working on uh, on Facebook I'm joined in on a 1929 Ford Roadster uh, build uh, this will be the third one uh, of the three I built the second one was borderline rat rod but this one started as a rat rod but it isn't a rat rod now uh, got a hold of some house of color paints over the holidays uh, spent some of my uh, Christmas money Santa give me for that uh, and I have to say that it was money well spent um, so I got that and a 59 Impala I'm working on uh, I got some color on it uh, the uh, 59 is gonna be a pretty cool one it's done uh, the 29 uh, it's gonna be pretty cool uh, let me get this turned around here and I'll show you what I've got going and uh, the progress uh, where it's at right now all right these are a couple of the trophies I whipped together uh, out of old pieces parts wrenches uh, for our show uh, rat rods is our thing this year uh, that is the rat rod trophy and Photographs don't do this thing justice even video you got to see it in person. It's just it's it turned out awesome uh, the Guys at work want me to build them stuff for home uh, So anyways, this is the 29 uh, House of color uh, It's not laying here planet green. I believe it is uh, just over duple color primer and uh, Cleared with uh, Dupa color ready to spray clear. Uh, got the motor together. Uh, the wheels and tires are out of the Tweety Pie kit. Uh, the motor's out of the 48 Ford. Uh, I decided to go with a different grill and radiator. Uh, those are out of the Tweety Pie. The grill insert here is a piece of HO scale train fence. I did Z the frame front and back. Um, I mocked it up a little bit. It really doesn't seem like the front dropped a little bit, but the back, even though it's Z'd, it doesn't seem to be as low as I thought it would be. But the car, once it's together, it sits, sits a more level. So it's going to be pretty cool. And of course, the blue one in the background, I forget what color blue that is. Uh, that's the House of Colors. Blue, uh, same clear same base primer uh, I did use a silver base coat and next time I think I'll go with the white make it a little brighter if I use the blue same with the green because the you can see a little bit uh, the inner fenders I just shot quick uh, a little white primer and a little little bit of the uh, blue and they, they seem to be a little bit brighter it's a little bit different shade uh, it's kind of hard to tell on the video but it is a little bit different uh, I didn't spray any clear on it I'm not worried I just wanted it to be the same color as the car but I wasn't worried about being shiny and bright but that's what I'm working on uh, I put this motor in and let's spin this around You see that generator is going to affect my upper hose because it's going to have to come out of the radiator. Right here in the front around and connect to the head. So I got to come up with a fix for that. Let's see what I can come up with. I decided to go with green carburetors uh, the exhaust fits I made some custom pipes uh, to fit that 
But that's what I got. Uh, that's where I'm at. What's going on here in the shop? I hope everybody's okay. If you're out there on the northeast coast in the blizzard, I hope you're safe. Don't shovel it all at once. You guys got quite a bit of snow. Uh, what a mess. So anyways, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Everybody take care.